Just last week, Ubisoft issued their long statement about Assassin's Creed Shadows that was supposed to be an apology, even though they didn't say sorry, and it got roasted by both Western and Japanese gamers, and now we're finding out that they are actually doubling down on theft because they have rejected the request to remove the stolen Japanese reenactment group's banner from the Assassin's Creed Shadows art book. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, starting off with this Bounding Into Comics article, it says Ubisoft has reportedly denied a request from a Japanese historical reenactment group whose banner they used without permission in production of Assassin's Creed Shadows. It says, as previously reported, the Sekigahara Tepotai, or the... Sekigahara Rifle Corps is a Japanese reenactment group dedicated primarily to teaching the public about the use of matchlock rifles during the Battle of Sekigahara. It says, much to the group's surprise, upon the reveal of Shadow's first batch of promotional materials, they discovered that Ubisoft had wholesale swiped their custom banner as flown during their reenactments and depicted it in the game as being flown by a random infantry unit. Now, the only reason why Ubisoft ever really responded to this was, first of all, because there are millions of people right now criticizing Assassin's Creed Shadows, and they know there is a lot of backlash that is has still yet to happen because we're still months from release. But they also responded because this group started throwing around the word lawsuit, and that is a major worry for a company like Ubisoft. Yes, they are massive, and they have a lot of money, but at the same time, they want to save as much money as possible, and they don't want to be going through multiple lawsuits. And following the outcry, from both players and the SRC themselves, Ubisoft did offer a direct apology to the group for their blatant theft, saying they have been notified that the flag has been used without permission in two pieces of Assassin's Creed concept art that have already been released. Uh, we have given the dev team an opportunity to apologize and have accepted the situation. Yeah, it's not even the people who used the artwork that apologized, it was just the Ubisoft Japan X account, which to me just screams the fact that even the developers themselves didn't care, but it says with the exception of the artwork being included in the art book in the collector's edition, there will be no further use or distribution of the artwork. So they had from the get-go, from this apology, said, oh, by the way, we're still going to profit off of this. We're going to profit from this stolen artwork. And it seems that a member of the SRC revealed that they had another discussion within the group, and they have asked Ubisoft to remove the pictures used in the art book of the collector's edition. I don't know if this is possible, but I have contacted them through support and unfortunately for the group, per the member's own tweet history, rather than receiving any assistance from Ubisoft, they would instead be met with roughly two and a half weeks of complete radio silence. Now, we don't know for sure if this has happened, but I would assume the reason why they're so hesitant to accommodate this group's request is because they're already printed. But they're clearly a big enough company that they could have them printed again, but they're probably looking at this whole game knowing it could turn out to be such a wash on sales that they don't want to sink any more money into it. But even so, look, we all know that the vast majority of copies sold will be digital for the game, and there is a digital art book, so there's no reason why they can't change that, and then change the art books that are physical, since they're probably going to account for such a small amount of sales. They've got to stay true to their apology, and this certainly isn't it. If they were ever going to stay true to their apology and cared, they would do everything everything in their power to make the situation better, and they're not willing to do that, which screams to me they're already printed and they just don't care all that much. Now, I never really expected Ubisoft to care from the get-go when they said, you know, we're sorry and we're going to remove it from the digital art books, and they said it wasn't going to be removed from the physical ones. It screamed that they were going to be facing a battle, and that's what I think is going to happen here. First of all, there are already facing so much backlash surrounding this freaking title, you would think they would jump at the opportunity to make people view them in a positive light, that they would jump at the opportunity to say, we're so sorry and we're going to do everything to, to fix this, but they're not. And then, of course, 
Now that we've seen their hesitation when it comes to rectifying the situation, it's only going to look even worse for them, but they are already facing so much backlash with basically everyone, Western players and Japanese players. I mean, I've talked about this couple of times now, but Japanese players excoriated Ubisoft after their apology last week. It wasn't even really an apology. They never said sorry. They simply said, we understand that there are some people who were upset over this game, not actually trying to take into consideration what we said or why we're saying it. It's clear as day that the people at Ubisoft just do not care about our feedback, and they don't even care about a reenactment group who they stole the banner of. They have absolutely no respect for anybody, and that has become blatantly obvious obvious, even, I hope, for the people who have been defending Ubisoft for years. Yes, I know they have a lot of franchises that we all have a lot of love and nostalgia for. Like, I absolutely have loved the first few Assassin's Creed games, but the past few, well, some of them have had decent systems or characters, the overall picture, in my opinion, was so far away from the originals that I did not enjoy them as much. Mirage was a game that I know a lot of people loved because it went back to their roots and a lot of people were hoping that they would really stick with that formula and they didn't. They decided to go in a completely different direction with Assassin's Creed Shadows, which also did not uh, bode in their favor when it came to this game. But every move they made with Assassin's Creed Shadows so far has not been to their benefit. They have tried their best, seemingly, to push people away, to garner a new, modern audience, but that's clearly not going to work, and at the end of the day, is going to lose them a boatload of money. Now, will they make any more statements regarding this situation? Probably not, because this group is you know, bringing up a lawsuit again, saying they will do everything in their power to have the situation rectified. And it's clear that Ubisoft has already put out their public statement. They're not going to respond anymore. So if these actually get removed in the art books, we don't really know. We're not going to know until release. Maybe Ubisoft could also delay the physical editions of the art book. That is also an option, but it just seems like they want to barrel forward and honestly get this game done with. They want to release it, they want to set it, and they want to forget it. They don't want to talk about it anymore, and they've still got months until release, so it will be interesting to see if there are any updates to this situation, but for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.